Nah, you was in you was in your bag with that one. Is that the tempo? Give me some Jay Z. You know what? You want old? Watch this. Doom, doom, doom. Can't. Mmm. Yeah, let me get that. That's gonna put me in the vibe I wanna be. Oh, um, but wait, before you play it, right? Can I, can I talk? You know what's crazy? I was yeah. just looking at Jay Z records. All right. But look, between me and y'all, right? Can I just keep it all the way above? So, how many of y'all saw me fall asleep with my live? Just be honest. If you did, cool. I understand. Cool. If you caught me. It's beautiful in Atlanta right now, so I don't know if you're in Atlanta. Yeah, it's going to be 80 degrees today, man. Oh, uh, I'm, in, I'm in the you-know-what. I'm in the you-know-what. Um, to everybody who's... Yo, nigga, that's just scared the shit out of me. Okay. So, <laughs> wait, pause it before we play it. Oh, they said me. Oh, shit. That's what I told you. I missed you. it. I'm in Atlanta. You were sleeping in the car. Oh, my God. You let yourself go. Oh. They said you let yourself go? Yeah, they said, yo, you really slept. Okay, so look. Okay, okay, enough, enough. I don't want to see anymore, okay? I did it, okay? I, I went to sleep with my life, <laughs> okay? I'm the next rapper to, to who have done it. But I'm going to tell you where it comes from. It comes from this. And I'm just like, be, like walk in my shoes, okay, right? Before I get off of here, I just want to say one thing. I'm sorry. I want to apologize now. If, listen, not if, because I know this shit is going to pop up. And I'm going to see it. And this might be the first thing and the only thing that I've ever saw of myself that went viral. Like, a lot of things, like, y'all think that I watch. Like, a lot of people think, like, oh, Bow plans these things. I don't plan nothing. I just live my life. But this... I can go on record to say this. This will be the first time as me being famous that I'm I'm really embarrassed about something. Like I'm really cause like I don't know, like that's so private. Like the fact that I fell asleep is so private that nobody sees me go to sleep. Like, you might see me announce some big news. You might see me catch a L. You might see... Like, that happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's life. That happens, right? But, like, sleep? It's so... One, two, three. I just... I, I can't believe that I did that. Like, it's so embarrassing. Like, it's embarrassing. You've been sleeping like two weeks. Bro, that's so embarrassing. Like, from the bottom of my heart, it's so embarrassing. Like, like, like that might be the only thing, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, in the, like, I don't care what I've done. You know what I mean? And I'm honest. Like, I'm, I'm all the way real. And I think that's why people love me. And that's why they, they rap with me, right? It's because I'm honest. I can always admit my mistakes. That cologne is strong as shit. Yeah, that's all my smell. smell. Bro, we have to spray something. Yo, I got I got some um some linen spray. I got the perfect spray for Please, bro, kill this shit. Oh my god. Really good talking here. Um Yeah, I'm I'm embarrassed. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. Like this is the first time where I can like fully admit to like the world that I'm embarrassed. But y'all caught me. And the fact that I went to sleep all my life. Funniest thing in the world. Like, I don't even want to see it, but I know I'm going to see it. And I'm just, like, so embarrassed by that. Like, I'm so sorry. I apologize. You know? Um, and to speak on it, listen, man, I blame that shit on a lot of things. You know, if I really went to sleep, I blame that on my kids, <laughs> like, you know, having having two kids, raising a daughter and raising a little boy, you know, it's, um, it could take a toll out of, 
So, you know, try my best to be the best bow that I can be, but also trying to be the best dad that I can be. It's tough. It's really tough, you know, especially when you got like your daughter's 10 and she's becoming her own star, right? Oh, yeah. Like she's on TV. She's, she's doing this. She's, like, Shy is just, like... She's doing numbers. She's out of here. Like, she's going to be twice... She's going to be way bigger than I've ever been in, you know. And I and I credit that to her talent and also just the fact that, like, you know, the things that are just within arm reach for, like, these kids nowadays, like, the internet, like, just everything. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, I put all that in, in, in perspective, and I'm like, yo, you know, and, my, and you know, my my son can't talk yet, so my daughter is always, you know, dad, you old, dad, you, yeah, dad, you look young, but dad, you can't do this, da 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 da. So we battle, and you know, I don't, you know how I am, like, you know what I'm saying? So me and Shy, we battle. But I will honestly say this, and I'm glad I can admit this because she's sleep right now. It's five forty-seven in L.A. I can admit this to the East Coast, though. Yo, bro. And it's the first time they've ever heard me say this. And all I want to see is, like, a lot of 100s and just, like, thumbs up, right? From when I, when, I, when I say this, that's all I want. Yo, how do I... Um, oh, I, I messed up. Before I say what I want to say, how do I make this... What? Do what? What are you trying to do? I want to lower this. This. Yeah, at the bottom. Nah, give me. What are you doing? How do I do this? I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, damn. Okay. I didn't. I didn't know what I was doing at all. Because I don't do this, right? And that's what I'm about to get to. Can you just tell them real quick? Oh, because I was doing... I know. But Miami. You want to go to Miami real quick? You ain't gonna make me come right back the same day. Right tell them, tell them what I've been down to tell them, bro. Just, right, just keep it, and I'm, and I'm gonna elaborate on that. Right, but can you say it? I'm gonna keep it real with all of y'all. Just say it, bro. Cause I, it's, I'm gonna say it, and it's the first time you've ever heard me say it. But I want you to say it. But when they hear me say it, they're gonna believe it. Did you really hear what? No, just we'll read those. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Listen, this man right here. We, we started this stuff. You said 02? It's been a long time. 2002 is 2020. So you want to really, like, tell him, like, what's the reason? He's getting old. Bro, I don't He's, even know what to do on Instagram, let me, bro. Let me, tell, let, me, let me tell you something. He's getting old. And this is all just to show you that this is the last album. This is the truth. He can't hang no more. He's not, he cannot do it. Mm. Look at him. The man, the man was sleep on the live. <laughs> Yo, in Versace sweat. He was bro. like this. Wait, 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 look, look, look. In Versace Velours, look. <laughs> I'm in Versace Velours, you know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. in my Versace. Yeah, bro. but you wasn't sleeping those in the car, nigga. I'm, I wasn't. <laughs> I, okay. That's, right, what you did, okay, okay, That's what you okay. did, nigga. That's what you did, nigga. Now it's my yeah, time to Yeah, you can finish off with the while you old. Okay, so here we go. So... I'm going to go ahead and just say this now. Why I got y'all here? He's absolutely right. I can finally say, I feel 34. Like, I'm about to be 34 next week. Oh, wait till you tell JD what you did. And I... Oh, he's going to kill me. Oh, he's... Oh, gonna Jermaine is going to kill me. Oh, I can't So, wait. for those that don't know, I'm going to go ahead and just keep it a buck. Um, from what I've been told, I fell asleep in... The, I, I fell asleep on my Instagram live. I fell asleep. Something I never thought that I would do. I didn't even think it was possible. I didn't, I didn't even think that it could happen. But for what people are telling me, it happened. So, um, no, I'm not. Oh, but you have to understand this. We're talking about, you know, in hip hop years, though. Like, for me to have been discovered at five and for me to live to see the 90s era of hip hop to the early 2000s and listen, no one dominated like I dominated, right? And dominate that shit, and then now that I'm 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 34 years old and I'm able to tap into different things that I love to do and I'm blessed, right? I'm able to sit back and just look at 
everything that I was involved in, like, damn, man, that's, like, I was really blessed. Like, that's out of a career. So when I go out and I'm partying and people are like, you know, I will give Bow a shot. And I drink a little bit. It's like, damn. Okay, what the fuck is going on right now? Like, you know what I mean? That 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 sense of like urgency kicks in, and I'm like, damn. As I'm sitting here, I'm looking at Mel like, yo, bro. Like it's crazy. I haven't like when you just say like, I haven't worked with. I've been I've been such like on another wave. That when I put out that record, what's the record? I, what's the video I just put out? See what I'm saying? Like, I don't even be knowing the what my pain, right? Like I don't even be knowing the titles of shit that I put out for y'all, right? So like my pain, Mel was like, "Yo, oh my god, like that shit is gonna like, you know, I don't know how y'all gonna respond or feel when I put." Yo, drop the freestyle. Which one? <laughs> you wanna tell them what I'm holding on right now? Oh yeah. Let me tell them something real quick. Right? I'm going to just show you. Because yeah. I know you. You'll be like, yo, Bow got listen, this and this and this listen, and this. Listen. I'm going to keep it all the way real with y'all. He has so much music that he's holding on to that he makes me mad every day. But I'm going to tell you this, though. He got four records that's going to shake the internet. The radios, the blogs, and then he got a freestyle. Oh my! I wish I could play it for y'all right now. That's all I'm gonna say. I wish I could play that for y'all right now. I will. You gonna put the freestyle? No, but I'll play them like, and then I'll turn it off. Play them nine five. Nah, I'll play them something else. I'll play them 69. Right now. Oh, y'all about to get a sneak peek. Play 69. He's being generous to the, his birthday really coming up. He's being nice to y'all. But you play 69. I ain't got it. I know you ain't got it. I'm going to get it, though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, to Mel's defense, like, I'm not going to lie, like, you know, I know we, I know we having fun, and I know we on live, and you know, what I'm saying we kicking it, but you ain't gonna lie, you just gonna be like, Mel is right, like he's right. He'll tell y'all, like yo, Bow has been in the studio since I can remember. Bow is always in the studio. He's Bow, been in the studio every day since I moved to Atlanta, and before that, like he'll say, the, Bow's been in, definitely if, before if it's that. 2021. He'll be like, yo, Bow been in the studio since 2016. In since, the 106, fact, since 106 and Park. Yep. Since I hosted one, he'll say... He's been say, working on his shit, and he just yeah. doesn't want to put it out. And he's like, yo, Bow has so many features. And y'all have to think, like, this is yo, Mr. 106. No. Well, well, I'm going I'm to fuck about. This is Mr. 106, host of 106, right? And y'all know that everybody had to come through 106 and Park. So just imagine Listen. how many features and how many unheard records that I have with people that I'm y'all never heard that I can just put out. I'm a good and one. I know what they're going to do. Like, at a drop of a dime, like, if I really want to turn them and be the hottest motherfucker, if I want to be the hottest rapper in the game, I can just do it. You can really just Like, I can really just do it. Like, I can really just wake up, like, in eight hours and say, okay, I'm going to drop this with me and Chris. I'm going to drop this with me and Kendrick. I'm going to drop this with me and Migos. They never heard a Bow Wow Migos record, ever. I got, I'm going to put that out tomorrow. Produced by Jermaine Dupri. I'm gonna you put that out. Nikki. Wait, wait. Me and Nicki Minaj. I can put that out tomorrow. You and Wayne. Me and Wayne tomorrow. You and Ross. Me and Ross tomorrow. Me and Meek Mill. You and Meek. Two records that they never heard. I can put those out tomorrow. You so it's like Kiss. me and Kiss. Is that so? It's like me and Music Soul Child. They never heard that. Wait a minute. Me and Boys to Men. They. I'm about to say that one. I was gonna me say and that. Boys to Men. Which is like one of my favorite records that I've ever done. Me and Boys to Men, like, you know what I'm gonna do, for right, y'all? No, 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 I'm gonna take all his music one day nah. and play it in the studio <laughs> no, for y'all. No, 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 you sleeping. can't do it. Like for me, it's like, excuse me, I believe in timing and I also okay. believe in like respecting the artist, right? So when I collaborate with artists, it's like I want to make sure that. You know, when I put it out, that they vibe with it and that they want to, <laughs> you know, that they make sure that their parts are right. But, like, I've collaborated with everyone you can possibly name. And, you know, being me, sometimes I just sit back and watch and I'm like, damn, that's what they're saying about the kid. Like, 
Uh, oh, this what they saying this week. Uh, okay, uh, they saying I. Uh, but they don't know. So if I put out me and Chris Brown record, I no. If I put out a record with me and Boys to Men tomorrow, I already know. You know what I mean? Like if I put out a record with me and Kendrick tomorrow, I, I already know. Like I just know. And um, for me, I just feel like the music that I make, and when it's time for me to create, I just feel like it's timeless. There's no date. There's no, you know, drop it tomorrow morning, drop it now. Like, I just feel like it should come when it's time for it to come. And I've always been that way when it's time for me to drop music. So, you know, trust me, man. I, I do it a lot every day. And, I mean, I do it a lot every day. I do it a lot. Like, I do it. All of my producers calling me, asking me, like, yo, bow, it's time. Like, yo, put it out. And I'm like, no. Bow, you was just with Chris. I think it, no. I'm like, it's not time. It's just not time. I just feel like timing is everything, you know what I mean? And um, you know these songs that I just named y'all, like with all these artists, like these are these are these are songs that I play on a daily. They mean so much to me, you know. And just imagine, like I'm a professional man. This is what I do. Like when it comes to putting hits, like this shit is it's easy. Like this is what I do. Like I know what to do. So. For me, that's why my boys get frustrated. It's like, yo, Bow is just sitting on all these songs. And it's like, I'm not. I'm just waiting for the perfect opportunity. And when I feel like the public is ready to accept them. Because when I make music, it's different than when your favorite rapper make music. You know what I'm saying? Like, when your favorite artist make music, it's cool, it's cute. It vibes. It hits the club. It vibes for the right time. Cool, that shit lasts for six months and it's over. For me, why y'all think y'all still playing out of my system? Why y'all think y'all still playing like you? Why you think y'all still playing let me hold you? Why you think you... You know why? Because... The time when I put those records out and the and, and the message behind those records, they mean something to me. You know what I mean? Those are all records that I, I did and they meant something to me. You know, I was the one that went to Jermaine and said, yo, bro, this new edition sample is crazy. We should redo this. All right, cool. Well, I want to put Sierra on this. Let's do this. And we did that and it became a number one hit. So, you know, I, I, I know, like, I'm a hip hop baby, right? So I know what good music sounds like. And for me, when I want to put something out and really good, like even my pain, like all the records that I'm just giving y'all on the freebie and putting them out, like that's just because, yo, I wake up on my bed, sit in my living room and just record. And I, oh, I like this. Oh, let's, let's shoot a video. Let's put this out. Let's see what they think. If they don't like it, cool. Then let's go back to the drum board. What they like, let's do it. So, Mel, what I told you, I said, yo, my pain has been the most, has had the most reactions, the most, Everything from your your favorite rapper to hit me about my pain. Trust me, and it means a lot to me because I'm like, okay, well now I know what my album should sound like. It's not what y'all been seeing on Growing Up Hip Hop. We shot the show top of last year, right? Shit changes, but for me, it's like, damn, this what they want. They want, bro. I, I'm so blessed, and I have a story that I never told. And I should really tell them my story from, I should give it to them. So that's why my new, my next album, and this will be my last album, is called Before 30, because everything that I've accomplished was before 30 years old. If you think about this, your favorite rapper just got to the shit that he's been chasing his whole life. He's past 30 or she. I did that shit way earlier, went three times platinum way earlier than your favorite rapper. Converted, went to the big screen, did hit movies, not like just guest starring in them, but like was the star of shit. And I did that. These are facts, right? Oh, facts, okay. And I'm still here. So when people question what I'm doing, I just laugh at it because I'm like, yo, I'm really sitting in my condo looking at the whole city of Atlanta like, yo, damn, I really got Fast and Furious 9 about to drop. Like people are really worrying about what Bow is doing. Like when I say I'm going, I'm going to the WWE. Oh, what has he been doing lately? Da, 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 da. What have I been doing lately? <laughs> Racking up. Okay, well, 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 my daughter's on her way to become bigger than me. That's that's one thing. But when it comes to me, I'm only in the biggest franchise of all movie history of all time, like a billion. So when we, what are we talking about? How many other rappers are on an arena tour right now that's selling out? None. Me and Omarion is though. It's me and Bieber and um the only tours that are that are going out 
me and Omarion, which thanks to all the fans, we've been able to put before COVID. I seen, of course, I said I was there. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm the, you know, what I mean, twenty thousand people in the arenas. No, wait, 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 wait. Twenty thousand people. Now, this is where like the internet shit, and this is why I don't really care about trolling, and because when it's time for me to turn into Bow Wow for real, I don't see this. I don't. I don't see the trolls. I don't see what y'all see on it. I don't see it. You know what I see? This twenty thousand screaming girls, grown women, going nuts still to this day. Rapping every verse, every line, every word, every... They still passing out. It's the most incredible thing. Girls are still fainting. I can't make it up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. And for me, I always remain quiet. I, I, I stay calm and cool and collective about what I do. But, you know, my homies by your bow, so I'm going to really start popping your shit. I'm like, nah, you know. If I notice it, they should notice it. You know what I mean? But I don't know no rapper who can take eight years off domestically here in the, in the States. It's still tour. And go on tour with no new records. World tours. No new records. No new records. With O. And it's sold out every night. I don't know. That shit's not normal. And it's time for us to really start respecting and loving you know, our idols, while they're here, man, it should not take to when we gone. And we should do this shit now. Like, I was so happy to see D'Angelo get his roses, his flowers tonight. That shit was dope, right? It's the same with us. So, be bow. Be me. And understand why I don't trip, why I don't post a lot on Instagram, why I don't really get on live a lot. That's why I'm on here with y'all, but I work so hard. Yeah, absolutely. And it's like... I don't know no other. I don't know no other rappers who can take eight years off, and say, "Oh well, I'm gonna do it in Rainator." I know people that be like, "Yo, I out of your fucking mind." And sell out. This ain't eight years ago. Well, to me, it is. This is my era. I don't know Nostalgia is in. If you put me with the right bill, we're selling out every night. I don't know a rapper that that left a. a, a Nationwide tour and went overseas on another tour. <laughs> overseas is different though. Nah, you know no, what I'm saying? I'm but, saying like, but at home is where it counts because we from here and we see this shit every day. So you really want to make sure things stick. For me, I never take nothing for granted. Like, just so y'all know, like, it's a blessing, man. Like, for you guys to give me the opportunity to allow my daughter and allow my son to be able to come on my tour bus and pull up to an arena. And they waiting on me to do these records. Like, it means my daughter is like, Dad, I didn't know you was like this. Like, shy, be like, yo, Dad, I didn't know. She know now. And it's because of you guys. I never, like, when me and Brown, listen, because I, I love my fans so much and I'm going to share this with them. The last tour I did here in the States was me and Chris, right? Yeah. It was the fame tour. Me, Tiger, Chris, yeah. T-Pain, right? Yeah. I will never forget Oklahoma City, where the Thunder play. All right? I get a knock on my door. It's my room, manager. It's time to walk to the stage. I'm walking. I don't realize how long this walk is. At that point, I said, yo, I don't know how much longer I can do this shit. Like, I really don't know how much longer... I can walk through these corridors, get dressed, be on a tour bus, you know? Like, this is the things that y'all don't know. Like, I might, we might be in Miami, but we might have, like, Houston in two days. That tour bus drive is two days from Miami to Houston. Sure. Unless we decide to fly private. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I mean? But it's, it, it takes time. So the things that we go through, our body, you know, our body, our mental, and... You know, being famous and you're dealing with women, you're dealing with fans. But then I have kids. My daughter is 10 and she's embarking on her own journey through life, right? And she calls dad and she feels like I can call him whenever I want. Like for me, it's like, you know, for me to like be like, yo, this is my last album. It's not because I want to 
quit, it's because I know what's important, you know, like my daughter and her dreams and where she's going, I never imagined Shy going to the places that she's going, right? So for me, as a proud parent, as a dad, I've made all the money I could possibly, like I'm good, I'm good, right? But I can't believe, like it's a pleasure to watch my daughter, my twin, to like she's about to walk through the same avenue that I walked through, and for me to be there, I don't want to miss a beat. And like music, it gives me that freedom. Like, okay, I can do this real quick. Bye bye. That's for y'all done. And I can focus on TV, film, producing, and doing all the, all the great things that I love to do. Right. But I'm just so excited, man. But you know, I, I don't do interviews a lot, but that's my main reason to why, you know. I decided, like, after this album, this is it. I really want to focus on my kids, man. Like, you know, my daughter is, she's a little Bow Wow 2.0. My son is going down the same path. And, I, I, you know, if I could free up one of my hustles, it's going to be a hustle that I, I, you know, that I made so much money in to the point where I don't need money from it. You know, so, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do verses. I'll do freestyle. I'll do it because I can do it, but... It's not my main focus. My main focus is making sure that my kids are good. My daughter is straight. My daughter is booming. She is just like on a tear in Hollywood right now. Like, Shy is killing it. And now my son, he's already crawling. He's, he's moving around. He's about to start walking. So I just want to, you know, that's, to me, that's boss. Bo- a boss is somebody who can dictate when and where and how they want to handle business. And I'm able to do that now. And I'm, I'm just thankful and I'm blessed. But everything is for my kids. Everything is for my kids. Like, Shy is on one of the biggest networks right now. I'm not going to name it. She'll kill me. I, I'm not allowed to say. And it just makes me so proud as a parent to know, like, yo, I can go do this and hop on a, on a plane or hop on a tour bus to go see my baby girl. And, you know what I mean? And be on set for something totally different. Like, I love that. So, you know, I never really told y'all the reason for me making this my last album, but that's the real reason. It's, it's, it's for my kids. It's to free up time. Free up space. And, uh, you know, that's just something that's, that I've always been wanting to do. So, as my fans, I hope y'all understand and I hope that, that you guys, like, you know, can respect that. Um, but that's why, you know, Before 30 going to be my last album. It's just to really free up time for my kids. I just want to be there for my kids. You know, if y'all love me, y'all know me. That's something that my dad never did for me. You know, so I just want to, I want to be there for my daughter. When my daughter calls me, Daddy... I'm doing this movie with Will Smith. I want you to... I'm doing X-Men. I want you... What? I'm pulling up. I want to be there. Like, I don't want to be... I don't want to be doing with no Bow Wow shit. I want to be there for dad time. So, I really... Like, it means a lot to me because my father wasn't there for me. So, I, you know, I didn't want to give the press that glory. And I'm sure they're watching and, and they'll report it. But for me, it, it's honestly... That's the real reason why Before 30 is going to be my last album. It's, it's, it's for my kids. You know, and I never told you that. But it's to free up time for my kids. I want to be there for my daughter... I'm going to be there for my son. That's it. You know what I mean? So. But. I'm still going to do movies. I'm still going to host. I'm still going to act. I'm still going to. You know. um, Shout out to my Fox family. Matt Singer. We back at it. The podcast. Shout out to iHeartRadio and Fox. I know I'll hold that down. We back at it for season two. March 10th is the the world premiere for Matt Singer. So I hope you guys are getting ready for that too. And um, I'm blessed, man, you know, so I'm living my best life. I'm having fun. I just want to check in with you guys as usual. I know I don't post a lot on my Instagram. Um, and the reason is, is because I guess, man, you can tell them I don't really live on the Internet. I know it might seem weird, but, uh, you know, for me, everything is in real life. Right. So for me, I'm, I'm always about real life. Um, and I preach that all the time. Okay. Like, Mel, you know, everybody was making jokes about, oh, he's on a little boat, even though I had a 100 footer plus yacht, right? And I have all the videos on my phone, right, that I post. I mean, I went live. I did that. But I didn't post anything, right? Because I'm from the 80s. And if you were an 80s baby, we just moved different. Like, this shit is normal to me. Boats, yachts, this, that change like I don't I'm sorry if I don't run my IG 
like most rappers do, but my shit different. You know what I mean? I, I just don't feel like I gotta do that. I don't feel like I gotta show off shit to prove to y'all. Y'all know what's up. My my yo, know, I be at the crib and, and my mama called me and said, Yo, two of your movies is on right now. That's a blessing. That's God. That's that's nothing arrogant. That's God. Like, damn man. Like I ain't really gotta work no more. I can really just sit down and be a dad if I wanted to and just you know what I mean? I'm really blessed. You know what I mean? So um with that being said, man, we're gonna have fun this year. The Millennium Tour 2021. Coming to y'all in spring. Me and Omarion, we got them for this business. We can't wait to get back on the road and please y'all with this good music. We are excited. Um, we're going to be safe. We're going to do this thing the right way. I know we're still dealing with the pandemic, but don't worry about that. We're going to make this thing shake and move. You know what I mean? So from me to y'all, I love y'all. I thank y'all. I'm glad y'all still ride with me. It ain't going to stop. You know, they're going to keep talking about me. They're going to keep blogging about me. Because they got to. Prime example. And I'm going to leave it at this before I log off. Man, what do I do on a daily basis if I'm not working? What am I doing, bro? Watching movies. I'm, I'm, what am I doing? Watching movies. If I'm not watching movies, what am I doing, bro? Playing 2K. If I'm playing 2K, how long? How many hours out the day? All day. All day. That could be 14 hours straight, right? No cap. Now, this is me. This is what I do on a regular day basis. Zoom meetings, because you know it's COVID, so I still got to check in with the business, right? I find it so funny for people to always be like, yo, bow is this, bow is that, bow is that. But when I really be at the crib chilling, my feet up, my son might be here with me. I'm doing the most regular. What we do? Uh, go to Target. Go do, I do the most. Like, people don't see me out, but I'm out every day, right? All I got to say is this. I do. I'm the most realest common person that you'll meet and chill and kick it with, right? But I'm always the topic of discussion. And me being so mellow and calm and cool how I am, I don't even understand. Because when people be like, yo, Bow, you this, you that, you that. And yo, Bow, you, you ain't da da da. Well, I'm like, well, then why y'all be putting me in headlines that I don't belong in? I'm on the shade room right now. You know why? For nothing that I posted. But there's a topic that a girl, a girl, a female friend of mine sent me this. Get off the bachelor. I'm like, what? The what? Get off the bachelor. I'm like, what are you talking about? That's my reply. Was, what are you talking about? You're on the shade room. You're a bachelor. I'm like, what? I go to it. And it's like me and Trey songs and Chris and... Like, all the top, like, you know what I mean? Guys from our generation, you know what I mean? Why? Like, I'd be like, why? Like, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Like, why? So sometimes, I just got to add my name and shit to make it go, like, or to make it stress. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't asked for that. <laughs> I ain't asked for that. I ain't asked to be on no Bachelor post. I'm in the crib get bro. How much money took me today? He said, don't do that, because I want money back. No, you did what? All right, well, we've been taking money from each other all day. Hey, hey, hey. We've been gambling. I've been get. listen, y'all don't understand. Listen, I've been, been gambling. gambling all day. All right? day, I've been gambling all day. So, yeah, listen, like, a, won, listen, a girl, a girl hits me and says, yo, get off the bachelor. I'm like, what? Get off the what? It's like, the bachelor. I'm like, baby, I'm not on ABC. What are you talking about? No, shave room. What? I didn't do nothing. This be my reaction. And I go, or a girl send me shit. I'm like, yeah, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that dude, though. Like, why y'all why y'all picking me? Like, why y'all want bad? Like, if, I, if I'm not that dude, why y'all keep putting me in the same? Leave me out of it. If I'm not that dude, leave me out of it. But I realize, I'm like, oh, I, okay, all right. Well, all right. They need me, in a way. Like, they, they have to have me there. So, I get it. I understand it. But for me to y'all, it's, you know. I'm just letting y'all know, like, a, a close, in-depth insight into how I think and how I move. And, you know, it's, it's, I don't really ask for the attention that they give me. You know what I mean? Sometimes they just give it to a nigga. Like, they just feel like, let's put bow in here. Like, no. Like, there's so many other people y'all can put. So many eligible bachelors. Like, why y'all got to put me in it? Like, I don't want to be, like, post me when it's something good. Post me giving back to the neighborhood. Post me when I signed this. Or post me when I'm 
I just went top five. Like that shit, they not gonna post. I gotta post that shit for y'all to know. You know what I mean? They ain't, they ain't gonna post that. But um, yeah, I know it wasn't bad about me though, baby girl. But it's at the same time, sometimes a nigga just don't like. I be really on my vibe. Like they don't understand. No, they don't get like. Excuse me. How I really be chilling and. I just pop up in the weirdest discussions. I'm like, why? How? Like, all I said was I wanted to wrestle. I didn't. I didn't say I was gonna be the best wrestler ever. I didn't say that I would become the best, you know, heel or the best per. Like, I never. All I said was, yo, just a child. I always wanted to wrestle, man. You know, sometimes I just tweet my thoughts. I tweet my dreams. I didn't. And people just, you're not. You're not gonna be shit. You're. You're never gonna make it in the WWE. You're never. Da, 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 da. Oh, you're da, 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 blah, blah. damn, bro. Like I'm like, damn, fam. I ain't even. I didn't say I was, I was gonna be the Rock. I just, I said, I just said it was a dream of mine to become a WWE. Like you know, I I made all the money I possibly could make from like touring, and being a rapper. So if I I want to keep entertaining my fans, I want to be on TV. I said I'm a, my I said filming TV is gonna be. For me, the next 50 years of my life. So, why not? Yo, you would have thought I was Hulk Hogan. Cats went crazy. There's no way. There's no way that bow can... You know what I mean? So, that's the type of things that I do it on a daily basis. Like, everybody's always just... They don't understand. But when I... I tweeted that from a place like, yo, okay, cool. Like, damn, I want to wake up. I, I want to wrestle today. Okay, I've sold out Madison Square Garden. I've been all over the world. Sold out. I sold out every arena. I've put out. Okay, what? I've had multiple number one hit records. Okay, cool. So what? If I put out a hit record now, it goes number one. Cool. It just adds on to what I've been doing. I'm used to that. What haven't I done yet that's going to challenge me? What haven't I done yet that's going to push me over? Like, what haven't I done that I truly love that I'm going to have fun doing? It's not about the money. Oh, my God, wrestling. Why wouldn't I want to do that? You know what I mean? So. And I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it. But for me to y'all, it's been good. It's been real. I'm out. Because I don't really be on this shit like that. And I'm glad that I hopped on this to kind of like clarify a lot of things. So I hope that meant something to y'all. Yeah, because yeah, they, they caught your ass sleeping this time on live. That's good, because I wasn't sleeping. All right, well, I'm not sleeping now. It's about to be 10 in the morning. Did you call Chef? Yes. All right, cool. Then we good there. So, <laughs> for me to y'all, I love y'all. Thank y'all. And I just said, I do this for you guys. I don't do this for nobody else. I do this for my followers. I do this for the people who love me. I do this for the people who believe in me. And, uh, you know, it's bigger than me. It's a wee thing. You know what I mean? So, you know, from the apparel to the brushes to the do-rags to everything that, to everything that I have going on right now, I just want to say thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. You know, because it's not enough tweets that I can put out to thank y'all. It's not enough Instagram posts that I can put out to thank y'all, but... You know, when I pop up on here, I feel like we all join as one and, and I can get my point across. So to all of my followers, to all of my fans who have been on the website buying merch on BWPearl.com, to all my waivers out there buying their do-rags, getting their shit right, buying their brushes, to the scullies, I can't thank y'all enough. It means a lot. And understand this, and I'm going to say this here, right? When y'all see this logo... This does not stand for Bow Wow. I just want people to know this. Right? This stands for Brotherhood and Wealth. That's something that I preach with my homies, my bros. It's every day I'm with my homies. Every day I'm with my bros, right? And it's a bro connection. But one thing that I love to preach to my bros is about wealth. Because that's what it's about. Brotherhood and wealth. Brotherhood follows... It falls in the same line, the same lines as loyalty, but you know, that's my vibe. So when y'all see this, I don't want y'all to think, yo, this is some bow wow shit. It's not. Because if it was, you would know. But this is something I came up with. It's a double entendre, it is, because it could be that for me. It's a BW, but at the same time, it was created off of brotherhood and wealth, right? Because I want all of us to, to learn that, study that, stand on that, and live on that. So. For many of y'all, I love y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. I'm out. He's out. He's done. Mel is done. Mel!
I've been watching the whole time. Now you're asleep. It's okay. Bro, did you see me on my phone? No, 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 it's okay. You're asleep. It's okay. I'm not no, 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 it's okay, bro. Did I, you bro, just see me on my Bro, 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 bro. I'm not too far behind you, bro. I'm about to. I'm I just want to know, did you see me on my phone? No, I, I saw black eyelids. How could you see black eyelids and I'm not. I'm, what? I saw black eyelids. I'm just no, saying what I saw. You, I saw black eyelids. You saw my black eyelids. No, I saw black eyelids. It's impossible. No, to see it's black not, no, it's How can you see black eyelids? Because your eyelids, your, your eyes were closed. So that means your skin on your face like is covering your eyes, which I've gives you vision. You talk, waiting for the, for that no, the whole no, time. you've been you've been asleep. I've been waiting for that the whole time. Man, it's okay. You were dragging no. on this story that no. you didn't tell them why. I you told them why. I was no, asleep. you didn't. You because right I'm course. 34 and I'm getting old. You didn't say that. That's all you needed to say an hour ago. You want to go in? Oh, cause shy, my son. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Pat, get off. Live and pass the shit. Let's go. Shit, tell me I'm sleeping. No, I'm not. I'm waiting for the shit. I can't say because we got sponsors and things. I'm a different bracket. Yeah, different tax brackets. Can, can I ask you a question? Does it suck for you to know that you can't wild out like how we want to wild out on my live because you just that's why I want the my live. When I want why, to wild why, out, why, I go why, why can I really? Be who I am. There's too many checks involved for this type of <laughs> lifestyle. You know this lifestyle. They like, don't treat me the want, same. Listen, listen. Let me tell you something. We get, we get, we get. What's the word I'm looking for? Find it. Beat and battered down for the little things. <laughs> oh man. But I can't do nothing. Oh my god. Hey yo, Terrence J, you my bro, but I'm about to get on your ass right now. No, but I'm about to get on him. Terrence was on vacation. I'm going to leave it at this. I'm going to show you all the difference between me and everybody else, right? Terrence J was on vacation. I hit him. I said, yo, bro, bro, you living right now, fam. I'm like, yo, if I was over there, I'd be doing the same thing. But then look, what I said, I said, yo, Terrence, I won't post nothing, though. You getting away with murder? Cause if I did that, I would be on this blog, that blog, that. They gonna be like, "Oh, bow." This, oh, bow that. He, damn, I'm just over here in the islands having wine. Like I can't have wine. Oh man, y'all doing me bad. I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. So, to be real with y'all, that's why y'all don't see me, bro. Do I post on Instagram a lot? I don't have nothing to post. Listen, if my manager said, yo, bow, fuck it, let loose, go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It'll be a problem. I'll be banned. But it's the fact that I can't be who I am on Instagram. I'm, you know, I'm some dudes just being like, I, I got to post this. Okay, I, I got, like, I want to give y'all so much shit that's in my phone, but... Just I keep, can't do it because everybody just keep watching my page. I I, yeah, I I can't I you can't know, do it. Even my page down there again for them so they can follow me. I got like a thousand followers. I can't do it. So for me, so I want to apologize now before we get off. I want to apologize. Yeah, Yo, exactly. my Instagram sucks. Like I'm being real. My go to my Instagram, bro. Bro, you know the last time I posted? Bro, I just paid my credit card bill today. Nigga, I ain't post in like three weeks, bro. You know why? Because the things that I'm going to post I is going to have everyone talk and I'm going to be trending and I can't do it. So it's like... I ain't post this for a very soon. I'm damn near there. Bye. Go to my Instagram, bro. I ain't post it. Bye. I have not posted. It's like February 16th. Nigga, we in March. It's over. Tomorrow. Like, it's over. Like, I have not... I haven't... I haven't... Nothing. When? Five days ago. Nope. I didn't post that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot that's what's going I, that, I posted that on my Instagram. When did it say? 16th. February the 16th. Bro, you know why it took me so long to post something else? I didn't know what to post. That was wrong. I'm like, I, I suck writing captions. I'm not good with writing captions. I'm like, I suck. I'm not about to just... I, I suck, bro. I'm not good with the internet, bro. So I stay off that shit. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. I just don't do it. Like, I'm going to have to pay somebody to, like, do my, my captions for me. I suck. <laughs> like, my shit is at what? You said 16 people? On my impasse, you said, oh, it's six, like... February 16th. That was, it's March 1st. Ben Simmons had three. Ben Simmons had three? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, is it two? No, pull up. Oh, wow, that's crazy. You saw that step back? 
That's crazy, I know. Yeah, so for many of y'all, love y'all. Thank y'all. I'm out, though. Yeah, because it's time for, um... The sun is out. Sun's out. Yeah, it's over. I'm chilling, so... Um, for many of y'all, like I said, y'all know I don't do many interviews. But this was an interview. But yeah. when it comes to you guys, y'all know I'm going to always pop in, talk to y'all, share information with y'all. But I might have missed in here. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely sorry. I, I apologize. Um, but like I said, to everybody who supports me and rock with me, you know, I'm going to try to do this at least once a month. If not once a month, then like once every other month. But I um, appreciate everything, you know what I mean? And um, get ready because this year is going to be crazy. And and once again, if you have your Millennium Tour tickets. Yeah, but so get your tickets. Yeah, if you have your Millennium Tour tickets, your keep tickets. them, hold on to them from last year because they will be eligible you, at the new dates. So continue like continue checking my page, check a Marion page, G Squared Events page, DJ Justice. DJ Justice, my DJ who y'all know, come on now. Check in with us on our pages for updates details and everything else that's coming but I would I, would, I can I can I can say this confidently like the tour is going down and we'll see y'all this year know that so now um sold out arenas all across the country fast nine is on the way um what else did that is, 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 look out for that turn two DJ Justice and that oh yeah yeah turn two Justice he making his not even an acting debut but he's back into yeah, acting remaking his acting yeah man we blessed man so for me to you guys thank you guys so much for all the support oh in the book so he's coming out with a book and a documentary alright he's doing too much yeah I need to sign off on we that lit. I need to sign off yeah, on that book lit. level 10 shop level 10 to new apparel coming out don't worry be on the lookout but wait can, you, can we tell him something before we leave yeah tell him everything DJ Justice who's DJ your DJ. How long have you been my DJ? For 20 years. Who's the hottest DJ in Atlanta? <laughs> DJ All right, cool. Just. My man, DJ Justin. Y'all know that. Y'all been in many of Scream tours. This ain't the first one. Just is the hottest DJ in Atlanta. I'm so proud of him. My man is doing his thing. And like I said, for me to y'all, man, sky is the limit, man. Just believe in God. Keep your faith strong, right? Block out all the negativity, all the haters, and keep it moving, man. And just keep it moving. So for me to you guys, I love you guys. And I'm on to the next, man. And so. I was not sleeping, y'all, so don't believe me. As well, y'all can see, I'm sitting in the same way. Okay, well, I was sleeping. He sleep. was sleeping. I was, sleep. I was not sleeping. So I was like got, this the whole time. I was sleep. So blame me. I was sleep. I'm about to kick back, relax. Yeah, Watch me a movie. movie. I'm chilling. The sun is out. That means that means God is talking to us today. I don't know where you living at. She needs to just come here. Oh, man. Right now. Yeah, so for me, you guys... Thank you. I am out. God bless you all and to Everybody good. Everybody follow me. And to all good, good night. Good morning. No, good night. It's morning. No. You not, have to say good Not for morning. us. Yeah, it's good night. Good no, no, it's good night. You still say good morning. Yeah, but we're not, we're not up for morning. It's good night. We're not doing that. Uh, it's good night.